This is a real person, just like God is real, fighting against God and all that is good. There's no globalist purpose, you know, for emasculating manhood or destroying Western culture and other things other than the fact or promoting homosexuality for that, unless you want to destroy the moral fiber of a nation. And that's why this multifaceted front that you've so eloquently described is really something that is satanic. And it isn't a uniform conspiracy in the sense that anyone involved is being dictated to. You know, just like God speaks to conscience, Satan's in there all the time as well. And you have innately liberal people, innately immoral people who get those little hints from conscience to go ahead and attack all that is good and to promote that which is evil and to emasculate masculinity and promote feminism and all of those. And they have they can do that without conspiracy. That is of a of a human variety because the, the grandest conspiracy is the fact that satan himself works a multifaceted front in people's minds through organizations through leadership that he is allowed to get people into sure it's a spiritual places. sickness yes it is but it's and so it, obvious now and it's not easy to overcome you know, yes, repentance and returning to Jesus Christ is the answer, but we can't force those things. We can only do that by invitation. And, by, and so that's why the battle is one of dividing society. And that's what I see coming up to this war is more and more society is going to be divided between those that see that there's a conspiracy, that they control both political parties, those that have a, a moral foundation, uh, and unfortunately, you know, a lot of Christian churches are being suborned by becoming mainstream and not being um, and being afraid of being criticized for being extreme and radical. Chuck, Pastor Chuck Baldwin has some marvelous writings about and criticisms about the, the the mainstream Christian churches and how they're basically getting into the new world order. Without oh, they're, I mean, they're taking government money and literally just spouting whatever the mainstream media says now. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, what's the time frame, do you think, five to ten years till they try this World War III thing? I have to say, I don't think it's coming before 2020. Now, as you get closer to that, I mean, you can't hold me to that because they could take an opportunity to move forward. But I think we've still got a good five years to fight this battle. And you're saying win. we see North Korea start shelling Seoul, get out, of, get out of major cities. That's right. Because that's going to be the trigger event of World War III. There has to be some reason why they treat North Korea with kid gloves, that they don't ever have a military option for taking them down or regime change. They know North Korea is going to be the trigger to start it. We may have to use tactical nuclear weapons to stop that kind of attack, and that will justify China and Russia for initiating a nuclear preemptive strike because we started with tactical nuclear weapons. And they have the PDDs in place where the sub commanders and silo commanders uh, can't fire back, they'll be totally destroyed. That's right. You know, our sub and missile commanders believe that they're going to be given the orders to launch on warning when Russia and China launch against us. But I don't believe those orders are ever going to arrive. And for those that don't know, until the PDDs got changed under Clinton and continued by Bush and Obama, if the missiles are tracking in, they have the authorization to, to defend. Now they've taken that away. That's right. And they have told them in PDD 60, 1997, to prepare to retaliate after absorbing a nuclear first strike that don't depend on. They didn't actually tell them you're not going to be able to launch. They just said, don't depend on it. Structure your system so that you can retaliate after absorbing a nuclear first strike. And General Butch Needle of the Marine Corps said, retaliate with what? He was just incensed. And uh, and especially since in that same year, Clinton agreed with the Russians, that we would keep 50% of our missile submarines in port, either in Kings Bay, Georgia, or Bangor, Washington, to make it easier for the Russians to target them because they were in port. I mean, this is just incredible, Alex. Yep, and meanwhile, the media pushes 24-7 to demonize the Tea Party. That's the big okay. threat, the Homeland Security says. Uh, let's talk to Michael in Oregon. You want to talk about U.S. flags being banned? You're on the air with Joel Skousen. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, Joel, it's a privilege, gentlemen. I, I got to tell you, Joel, what you say, uh, it, it's just, it's overwhelming. I'm sitting here listening, it's overwhelming. Um, I thank you for, you know, the insight that you give us. Uh, my son today and I were talking about the USA flags being banned on T-shirts in California. My son is 12. Connor, he said to me, Dad, that's just stupid. 
you know, out of the mouth of babes comes wisdom. <laughs> and I thought I would ask you your take on that. I ordered a bunch of shirts, by the way. I'm going to pass them out, you know, nice Texas shirts and USA shirts. But uh, I think it's crazy. What, what do you think about it? Well, California, like New York, is one of those vanguard states of the left, of the globalists uh, who are testing the waters on everything. They're pushing the envelope and just banning patriotism, banning Americanism, banning American culture, just par for the course for the kind of government that you have in California. You know, as a fellow Oregonian, uh, I'll tell you, I wince at the Oregonian newspaper and, you know, the, the liberal elite in Portland and Eugene, I expect them to follow suit pretty soon, too. What California does, Oregon does, you know, a few years later. And they're very proud uh, of their anti-maleness. I'm seeing in the news now that it's offensive. Uh, heterosexual couples, marriages, now see marriage itself as offensive. This isn't tolerance. This is that we're being conquered by this. It's amazing. All right, thank you, caller. Yeah, who had ever thought American flags banned because the illegals are offended by them? Only in America, the former America. More calls coming up. It's time to kick some ash. Because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate E-Liquid by La Cig. Because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke, too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com. Spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig E-Cigarettes. Kick some ash. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Have you tried everything and your health is still not improving? In 2008, I was dying with Lyme's disease with daily PTSD. I lost everything. In 2009, a miracle happened. I discovered Ion and the RNA drops. I'm Matthew David Hurtado, author of Misfit to Millions. I want to give you one free bottle of RNA drops when you purchase my book while supplies last. RNA drops saved my life and that was just the beginning. Take your power back now. Visit getthedrops.com. That's getthedrops.com. My shocking book, Misfit to Millions, puts the gurus to rest, and it puts the product to the test. RNA Drops. Getthedrops.com. Visit getthedrops.com today or call 888-550-8231. That's 888-550-8231. If you want to change your life, you've got to change your life. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com what it's like to be the bad man to be the sad man behind blue eyes no one knows what it's like to be you can either build a civilization on truth and justice and building and advancing through common purpose and being honorable or you can build one based on lies deceit and fraud which always ends up collapsing. Well, that's the system we're going under right now. Joel Skousen of worldaffairsbrief.com uh, is our guest uh, right now. We're taking phone calls on this Friday edition. 
Uh, Lord willing, I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. And there's InfoWars Nightly News, of course, 7 o'clock weeknights. We thank you all for your support and spreading the word. Ray in Illinois, he says he's a city council member. He wants to know what's next for the USA. Go ahead, Ray. Hi, Alex. Uh, hi, Joel. Uh, I've been a council member here for the past three years, and uh, I actually got involved into doing this because of Alex and people like Alex and George and a few other like-minded people. And I want to say thank you for uh, getting me involved, and I just hope that other people will get off the couch and instead of just complaining about what's going on, get involved some way or somehow. But, uh, Joel, my question is, you, you talked about the timetable. What would happen, uh, how significantly would that timetable uh, go forward if an EMP pulse or a solar flare would hit North America like they've been talking about and wiping out our, our grid and our defenses going down? Would China and Russia say, hey, let's do it now instead of waiting, or what do you think about that? Well, you know, that's a scenario that's been prognosticated by several people. Uh, here's why I don't believe that EMP will ever strike separate from an actual physical nuclear strike. The one thing an EMP doesn't do, and let me just tell you about the technology of an EMP. The latest data from the U.S. government and others is that it takes about six high-altitude nuclear weapons to blanket the whole U.S. to take down the whole grid in a, in a, in a very serious way, not just one. And so there's been a lot of hype about uh, Iran sending a whole fleet of uh, ships over towards our coast and that they're going to launch a missile off that. Just not technically very feasible uh, to do that. Uh, it takes more than one missile. And even if it did happen, an EMP strike doesn't take out the military because it's been hardened. And so the military would know where it come, came from. They'd be able to retaliate so it doesn't achieve the the purposes of either russia and china or even a, a rogue state you know as if iran would do that which i don't believe they would and so sure if they're gonna do that just smuggle a nuke into manhattan and detonate it that's right i mean if you want to just make a show and get your your country retaliated against i mean if you want to do something suicidal there are easier ways to do that than to try to do it with a missile on a ship coming into but i just don't think that's going to happen it really is more technical than people think to to throw a high altitude nuclear weapon up there, and it's got to be. Well, in the to... '60s, the Pentagon detonated big hydrogen bombs in the atmosphere, and it did knock out power, but they found it was sporadic uh, through the atmosphere. That's right. It is sporadic. It takes about six to blanket the whole U.S., and even then, um, as I say, it doesn't take down the U the military because they're hard. Now, a sun uh, EMP could, could actually hit the whole country, the equivalent of a big flare. Why is there so much military-industrial complex hype? We get hit by guests constantly wanting to come on about EMP. Well, I don't know. You know, government agents have been hyping a lot of things. And, and frankly, Alex, anybody who calls up, me included, and says, I'm an insider in government and I have some top-secret information for you, I don't take it. Because nobody in today's NSA can get away with talking to anybody on our side without getting caught. And if they can do it week after week, you know it's permitted. It's not that they're really on our side. Sure. They're, they're always giving... What do you think about Snowden? I think Snowden was legit. He doesn't match that same thing. He's told, here's the information, it's out. He's not claiming to be in the inside anymore. He's not claiming to have insider information. And he reads true and legit to me. That's uh, what I think. Do five more minutes. I know you got to go. I want to come back and finish up talking about that, that source situation. We'll be right back. You are listening to GC. I'll be back Friday, folks. Well, it is Friday. Visit I'll be back GCI. next Friday, obviously. But be back today. Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.